the last spring training video and you guys have no idea how excited I am to talk real baseball stuff starting tomorrow with the season preview coming out tomorrow and of course game one of the regular season in Tampa at the Trop going on Thursday at 4 10 p.m. and of course I'm gonna be at the Leaf game so that that video will be uploaded later than usual guy yeah, what a way to start the year but let's break down these last spring training games. Uh, they don't mean a damn thing, but we'll talk about them anyways. You lost 13-8 to to the Orioles uh, a week today. Like, a week ago today. George Springer, two for three with a couple of RBIs. Good on him. Uh, Dalton Varsha, one for two. He had a home run. Boy, what a spring together. What is What a spring he has put together. Two runs scored, two RBIs for him. Uh, Gabriel Martinez, a young fellow, went two for two. Good on him. Kirky, one for one. Walked twice. And with a run scored in an RBI, so he continues his red-hot spring training. Jays have a total of 11 hits in the ball game. Chris Batson gets to start, and he struggles. Three and a third, seven hits, four runs. All were earned, four Ks and a couple walks. A lot of home run uh, in that outing. So he wasn't all that great. But positive signs from guys like Jimmy Garcia. He was really good. Threw a clean inning, had a couple strikeouts. Chad Green gave up a solo shot, I believe, but that was it. He's had a pretty good spring uh, as well. Pretty good second half of the spring, let's put it that way. And that's it for game one, because who cares? Then, you lost 10-9 to the end, Atlanta Braves, and boy, what a game that was. For a spring training game, that was outstanding. Ernie Clement, two for four, scored a couple runs. His great spring led to making the opening, uh, the making the roster. And with that being the case, Santiago Espinal was traded. Because of roster spot and all that. So, we'll see. As to uh, how this progresses for Ernie Clement. But boy, he's put a great spring together. And the dude doesn't strike out. So he was 2-4 for four with a couple runs scored in that game. Vladdy 1-1. One for one. Yeah, home run. He had three home runs in the spring. So he's been outstanding. Vogelbach went deep again in that game. And the main people we're talking about here. First off, Nathan Lucas 3-3 three for three with a run scored. Kind of shocked he didn't make the team. He had a really good spring, but okay. Uh, Arjun Namala. The young fellow the Jays drafted first round last season. And he's a young kid. He's a very, I think, what, 18 years old, 19 years old at the latest. And he went deep in his one at-bat. Actually, no, he had two at-bats, right? Yeah, he walked as well. So a great job for Arjun Namala in his debut with the Toronto Blue Jays. And at that time, I think the Jays were down, was it like 9-8 and that tied it or something like that? So have a day, Arjun Namala. Great job, young fella. And we're going back so far that Eduardo Escobar is still here. And he is no longer a Blue Jay. So they had 10 hits total there. Bowden Francis got the start in this game. And I watched this. Well, I, and the box score and everything. He was awesome. And a pretty rough last inning. And then Zach Pop just caved it in for him. Couldn't get it out. A lot of couple hits, couple runs. One was earned. Not a great one. But Bowden Francis overall makes the team as the number five starter. Four and two thirds. Four hits. Four runs. Three Ks, two walks, a lot of solo, or a lot of a home run. I can't remember if it was solo or not. Uh, Nate Pearson went two thirds of an inning. Yeah, a lot of run. And that's it. Wes Parsons, not great, as you would expect. Walk four and two innings of work as you lose 10 9 to the Atlanta Braves. Then the Jays beat the Pirates 3 2. And what happened in that ball game? George Springer, two for two again with a run scored there. Uh, Justin Turner, one for three, scored a couple of runs. Uh, sorry, scored a run, had two RBIs, so he does great. Kevin Kiermeyer goes deep in that game. Uh, what else we got here? Nothing else crazy. Eight hits total for the Blue Jays. Ricky Tiedemann got the start, and after a pretty slow start to spring for Ricky, uh, he was great tonight. He was tonight. I say tonight. Wow, we're not there yet. He was great in that game. Three innings, one hit. Two walks and five caves. I believe it was a solo shot to someone meaningful. Who? Brian Reynolds took him deep. So there's that. And then Paolo Espino went five innings, like two hits, didn't walk anybody, and struck out eight. So he was awesome. So a good depth guy in the uh, in AAA Buffalo. But let's be honest. If you're calling up a 37-year-old guy who throws 88, they were in bad shape. Okay, so he was he was he was great in his five innings of work, but who the hell cares? You win that three two, then you beat the Red Sox five one, which was nice to see. Dalton Varsho one for three in the game. He had a great spring, didn't he? Holy smokes! Uh, and the else, Daniel Vogelbach one for one with a run scored, walked twice. So good day for him. IKF two for three with a run scored, a couple of RBIs, hit his first home run of and, and only home run of the spring. Uh, Addison Barger, two for three, had a couple RBIs, and boy, did he have a great spring. 412 average and a 524 OBP. So a really nice spring training for Addison Barger, at least in 
uh, up in the, he might have played another game, but at this point, that's what his numbers were. Seven hits total for the Blue Jays. Mitch White was great. Five and two thirds, two hits, one run, six Ks, walked one, albeit the lineup he was going up against in the Boston Red Sox. Where was the regulars? Yeah, Bobby Dalbeck? Yeah, maybe. No, not really. Uh, so he didn't face really many of the main Red Sox, and he did fine. So good on him. Tim Mesa faced one guy, got him out. Chad Green, clean inning, had a strikeout. Trevor Richards, two scoreless innings, a hit and a walk, but four Ks. He was awesome as the Jays win that one. And here come the Els to end the spring training, four in a row. Split squad game between the Tigers and the Blue Jays, where the Jays lose 10-7. But George Springer, three for three with three runs scored. Vladdy goes three for four with two runs scored and a home run. Bo Bichette, two for four with an RBI. And uh, where, I think I saw Namella, didn't I? No, I didn't see Arjun Namella here. Never mind. Uh, Varsho 0 for three, but he walked and came around to score. Kirky went one for two with an RBI, so good on him for that. Yeah, 14 hits for the Blue Jays. A lot of it was your top guys. They had a combined eight of the 14 hits, so good on them. And Kikuchi got the start, and yeah, he was bad. Yeah, he was awful against the uh, uh, pretty much the everyday t uh, Tigers, isn't it? Yeah, but regardless, it's the Tigers. It's, he shouldn't be happening. And he had three bombs, didn't he? Yeah, three home runs, three and a third, six hits, eight runs, all were earned, struck out two and walked three and gave up three home runs. He was not good in his spring training numbers, and he already 16 and a half. It's not good, but it's spring training. Who cares? Any other big names? Nate Pearson. Yeah, he won great. Zach popping inning in a third, two uh, two strikeouts and a walk and nothing more. Brendan Little, a guy who could be part of this team, an inning in two thirds and hit a couple strikeouts, nothing more. And he lost that game 10-7. In the other uh, spring training game in the split squad, they played the Orioles and they lost that one. Was it four two three two? Excuse me. Ernie Clement, another hit, one for three with a run scored for the big earn. Nathan Lucas, again, multi-hit game, two for three with an RBI, but uh, didn't crack the team. Hit 450 in the spring. Couldn't crack the squad. Crazy. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Mac McDowell, a couple of hits. Uh, that's it. But you didn't have many of your guys at all in that lineup. Yariel Rodriguez got the start. And, he, you know, he faced the, the Orioles lineup, right? Cedric Mullins, Adley Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson, Santander, Mountcastle played, Ryan O'Hearn played in that game. Three innings, one hit, a couple walks, and a strikeout. A lot of soft contact, but he did a great job. C.J. Van Eyck, not great in his two innings of work. Two hits, two runs, all were earned. Mason Fluharty, Flirty, I don't know, I gotta pronounce that right. An inning, uh, a lot of hit and a walk struck out too, so good on him for that one. Oh, let's get through this, Chase fans. Two more to go, and then we'll wrap this puppy up because we want to talk about tomorrow's stuff. Can't wait. Vladdy, two for four in the game against the Philadelphia Phillies where the Jays lost 2 nothing. Vladdy went two for four. Barger, one for one. Dikef, one for two. Yeah, that's it. Four hits total for the Blue Jays. Chris Bassett got the start and was pretty damn good. Struggled to start the game, but was much better as the game went along. Five innings, five hits, two runs. Both were earned. Four Ks and a walk. Chad Green went out there, threw a clean inning, and struck out the side. He was great. Hennessy Scabrera. Cleaning a work, a hit, a walk, got a strikeout. Jimmy Garcia, clean inning, a hit, no walks, couple strikeouts. Great job from Jimmy Garcia, who has an ERA of two, and Hennessy Cabrera, 2.35 in the spring. Do you take anything from it? Probably not, but who cares? All right, we move on to the next one. And the last one was the 4-3 loss to the Pirates yesterday, which again, means nothing. Okay, and uh, uh, Bo Bichette, one for two. All the main guys had two at bats because it didn't really matter. KK one for two with a run scored. Biggio one for two with an RBI. Uh, Palmeciani, the young Canadian, two for three, two runs scored, hits a bomb. Great job from him. He's been a, he's a home run hitter and he's pretty good there. A couple hits for him, good on him. Kevin Gosman, the big part of that game was watching him get the start. Three innings, three hits, one run, no walks, and seven punch outs. Awesome from Kevin Gosman. Tim Mason, not great. He's had a pretty rough spring training, but who cares? It's the spring. Zach Pop won great. Yeah, that's about it. And Jays fans, that's it. No more me talking about meaningless spring training games. It's done. Next up, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow as we do the season preview for the Toronto Blue Jays. Can't wait, all right? So you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and are jacked up for games that mean something, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the spring training games. If you have any. If not, talk to me about the season. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. All that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Uh, Rappers edition. 
I think it's tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, tomorrow they host the Knicks at 7.30. Leafs edition tonight, 7.30, as they are going to be hosting the New Jersey Devils, and I'll be live on TikTok during that game. And as for the Blue Jays, like I said, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow night as we get ready for the regular season in the spring, in the season, not spring, season preview. All right, so thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and are just so ready. We'll talk to you guys then.